All right, we are rolling on in five, four, three, two. This is Hayden Davis with a new seven exclusive update on last week's massive storm in Galetown. Wind and heavy rains caused flooding, power outages, and widespread destruction. Joining us now is weather expert Dr. Kenji Emerson. Thanks for joining us, Dr. Emerson. Glad to be here. You have an interesting job. Tell us, what is it you're doing for Galetown? The citizens of the town have just hired me as their forensic meteorologist. Interesting. What is a forensic meteorologist? Uh, meteorologists study weather. Uh, most will focus on predicting future weather. Uh, but as a forensic meteorologist, I investigate weather that has already happened. So you're like a weather detective? Uh, yes. I study data from past weather events to understand exactly what happened. In this case, I'm investigating Gale Town's increase in severe storms. Well, I think you'll find plenty of data from this recent storm. It was one of the worst in the town's history, not to mention all the widespread damage done to businesses on Main Street. Let's go over to Gale Town to talk to some of the people affected. Glenda, thanks for joining us. Tell us what happened. Well, I own the local bookstore, and during the storm, it completely flooded. I mean, water was pouring in from everywhere. We had to move all the books so they wouldn't be ruined but we are so thankful to the neighbors for pitching in. Oh, there's Carlos. He really helped out a lot. Carlos, come here and talk to this news crew. They want to hear about the storm. Oh, the storm. Oh, it, it was bad. So much wind and rain. A tree even fell on my house. And I've lived in this town a long time, and we have never had storms this bad. And it's getting worse, and I know why. <laughs> you always have a theory for everything. No, 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 think about it. What happened a few years ago? That's when they built that dam and put in that new lake near town. I mean, it's fun to swim in, but I think that lake is the cause of all the big storms we've been having since then. Dr. Emerson, do you have any evidence that can support the claim that this new lake is the cause of all the recent storms? I mean, there are people talking about suing the company that built the lake for damages. Is the lake to blame? Uh, I've only just started my investigation, but my team will be looking into many factors, including the lake. No offense, Dr. Emerson or Carlos, but how can a lake cause a storm? No. All I know is ever since they put in that lake, the storms have been getting worse. But other things have changed, too. It's gotten a lot hotter since I moved here. Hotter weather seems more likely to cause storms than putting in a lake. Well, it seems there are a lot of theories as to why this latest storm was so severe. Dr. Emerson, do you have any insight for us? It's really way too early to say at this point. Uh, we're still collecting data and analyzing. But I can assure you we'll be looking at other factors like temperature and wind uh, in addition to the lake. Well, we're really grateful for your help. Uh, it's my pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us today, Dr. Emerson. I hope you'll come back to update us on your findings. Absolutely. That was Dr. Kenji Emerson, forensic meteorologist, with an exclusive News 7 update. We'll be right back with more news after this.